In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Khrushchev's junction rule and loop rule to calculate the current in complete circuit. In this experiment, we need to verify Kirchhoff's first and second rules. And to do so, we are going to do the following. We will connect a circuit exactly like this circuit with three resistors called R1, R2, and R3 and two batteries, one to the right with EMF called E1 and one to the left with EMF called E2. The positive terminal of the battery E1 will be connected to R2 while the negative terminal is connected to R3. The positive terminal of the battery E2 is connected to R1 and its negative terminal is connected to R3. So we will connect this uh, circuit and uh, we will measure the current flowing through R2. We call it the current I2. So we will measure this current and also we will decide the direction in which this current is going, whether the current is going to the right or to the left. And we will measure also the current through R1. We call it I1. We will decide also in which direction is the, this current flowing to the right or to the left. And a current I3 which passes through the resistance R3 and we decide whether this current is going up or down. And using a voltmeter also, we will measure the voltage V1 across resistance R1 here. So we decide how many volts and also we decide which side is the higher voltage, the right hand side or the left hand side. We will measure also the voltage V2 across the resistance R2 and we decide which side is the higher voltage, the right hand side or the left hand side. We measure also voltage V3, which is the voltage across the resistance R3. And we decide whether the upper part or the lower part is the higher potential. So these are the quantities we are going to measure in this experiment. R1, I1, V1, R2, I2, V2, R3, I3, V3, and the values E1, E2 of the batteries. Now, after measuring these uh, values in the lab, we will exactly like what we did in the class, we will calculate these things by calculations. We will calculate the values of I1, I2, I3, V1, V2, V3, and we need to compare our experimental values with our theoretical values. So if the experimental values and the theoretical values are close to each other, very close because of some experimental error, then Kirchhoff rules are true. Otherwise, the experiment is false. So now we go to the next part, which is the practical part. I will show you how to connect the circuit and how to take the readings. Okay guys, so this is the experimental setup we are going to use. This is the breadboard. You know it from Ohm's experiment. And we are using these three resistors. This resistor to the left, 47 ohms, as you can see here written. And uh, the, the uh, resistance to the right, which is R2, called R2 in the lab report, is 470 ohms. And this is the third resistor, 100 ohms, R3. And uh, from this side, we connected this power supply, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to 6 volts. This is arbitrary, so I chose to uh, adjust at 6. This is the second power supply to the left, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to 10 volts. Now I will start measuring the voltages and the currents. I will start by measuring the voltage across each resistor using this voltmeter. So I will first measure the potential difference across R1, the 47 ohms. Now 
this. It says 3.256 volts. 3.25 <clears throat> and the positive terminal is to the left, the negative terminal is to the right, which means the current is flowing to the right in this direction. I will switch now to the second resistance. It says 0.75 volts, 0.75 volts, the positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right, the current is flowing to the left. Now I switch to the third resistance. It says 6.799, around 6.8 volts, and the positive terminal is up, the negative terminal is down. These are the three values of the potential differences. Now I'll start measuring. Okay, now I will measure the three currents. I will start by measuring the current in R1. I will shift this to connect the ammeter in series with the resistance. It says 68.05 milliamperes. The positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right. Now I will measure the current in the resistance R2. It says 1.61 milliampere, 1.61 milliampere, and the positive terminal is connected to the left, and the negative terminal is connected to the right. Okay, now I will go to the third resistance, R3. Connecting the ammeter in series, it says 66.89 milliamperes. The positive terminal is up, the negative terminal is down. So these are the three values. Now I will write down these values in the lab report and I will attach a photo for the tables with the data with this video.